Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here just after having killed the Miller. We are going ahead and trying to push forward onto the next boss in the farmstead here. We are ready to go. This team has been doing very, very well. I've been advised not to use any more of my food. I've been using a little bit too much of it for healing, apparently, and I really shouldn't have been. But anyways, we're pushing forward and hoping that this team can... Um, bring us to victory, so let's go onwards. I'm a little bit scared because I know that things start to get very difficult here. Um, and the altered colours do make for some difficult combat, especially with these dudes. But apparently, I'm kind of at the point now with my virtue chance where um, I shouldn't really be worrying too much about stress healing all too much. And I should just kind of let the virtues happen. Uh, because once the virtues happen, they stay forever. So we start with an impale, and I'm very, very grateful for that critical hit there. But we're mainly looking for the accuracy downs. Um, and yeah, we just want to kind of be going for the for the healing more than anything. And making sure that everyone's topped off that way. Um, I'll, I'll set up this. I did not mean to hit you there, but it still works. Uh, we need to take out this dude very quickly, otherwise he's going to explode in our team. Even though this guy has the maddening shanty with the reduced accuracy, we should be okay here. The gab. Gab even? Why did I say gab? But well, there you go. There's a stun on him. That actually means we can take focus off him for a round, I believe. Um, and maybe go straight for the uh, the singer. But we're still going to keep buffing up. I love the color scheme of this area, by the way. The gleaming. It's it's very cool. Um, Monsters over high Christian. I'm just going to go for him, just in case. I know that it's a little less uh, necessary, but I think it's good. Um, hmm... Honestly, I know that I said I don't need to stress heal, but while we literally have no reason to heal, it makes sense to stress heal. Um, just to make sure it's, we, we sort of, we're doing something productive. But in general, we don't have to worry about it as much. We're getting to the point now where um, we should be okay. That's a little annoying, but we can cure that, so that's okay. The injection coming in here, this could mean a few extra, yeah, I gonna say a few extra stings on him, but that's okay. Um, let's just go for you. Beautiful crit there. Beautiful crit. Puts you down to uh, a very near-to-death situation. I actually think that we go for this just to get the guaranteed kill. Oh, he resisted the bleed. Of course he did. But that means we get the guaranteed kill and get the virtue chance. That's even better. That's even better. So we clear your horror off. Okay, nice. And then we've only got this guy left. This dude can be very problematic, but with the accuracy down, I think we should be okay. I was just about to say, it's more than what reinforcements he brings that's the problem. There you go. Get the accuracy down across the board. I absolutely love this little method that we've got going on here. It's so fun and interesting to play with. Um, I really, really like it. Let's go do that on you. I don't know when when we uh because apparently virtue chances can go to like maximum so i don't know when we need to be uh looking at um because i don't know if there's any way we can see virtue chance i don't see it anywhere here but we can actually get to a maximum of 90 99 or whatever and just go for one so that is a, a way we can do it i don't yeah i don't know how to check what our base chance is i do apologize um I'm going to go for the parry and get that set up on this guy. I'm going to say we should be able to get this done as well, and we did. That even goes for a repost on you. Maybe a stun. There you go. The double stun. Stuns are coming in hot and fast at the minute. I love it. It's really nice to see. This guy's going to go in for a bleed, but he can't. He's stunned. This guy still, still, of course, causing some problems. The engulf there. Somewhat problematic, although we do have the ability to fight through, um, to fight through that, so... Breaks guard, can't be guarded. Um, I don't think we want to use that on him. Let's use that on you. It means you can't be guarded and pulls you forward. Get another one and then set up healing for everyone. All that good jazz. Honestly, let's just go for a double heal. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Crits. And you should be able to get the kill for another virtue chance. But yeah, I think base chance is like 60-something percent, and then we got plus 30. So once we get to plus 40 percent, I think we're good to just kind of let everything happen as it happens. And roll in the virtue, because virtues can be very, very strong, depending on the characters we're playing as. I know some modded characters have um, special virtues, so that could be interesting. Um, take you out. Try to, at least. Heal everyone up again. And we keep going with this to heal everyone up once more. Brilliant heals there. 
Impale once again. Gets us the kill, which we probably shouldn't have got, but it's okay. This guy has been been sticking around for a bit longer than we'd like him to, but and that injection there, as you saw, did a, a hefty bit of damage there, but he is the only one left at the moment. Now's where the problems start. Now is where the problems start. Okay. We really need to get this guy killed immediately. We're going to be getting some very, very heavy bleeds incoming very shortly here, so... We need to see to it that this guy dies. So that we don't get too much um, bleed on top of the bleed that this guy's doing. But some of it cannot be helped. We'll see. There's the Venomous Jab incoming. Good dodge. Accuracy down, as I said, is helping out a lot. That's the pinch we're worried about. That's a really, really big bleed. Um, we are going to bandage that up rather than wear, I think. Finish you off. Probably should have done it the other way around, really. Get a hit on you. Get a heal. Big heals on some of the wrong characters, that's okay. More healing going out. The pinch is really problematic, but we got restoration there. Seeds of Madness are coming in. We should have the opportunity to get rid of those in just a second. We've got plenty of bandages, let's just remove for now. Get the healing in there. Keep everyone topped off. We should be able to take out these with uh, Impale. Yes, got them both. Gives him some healing. Beautiful. Gives you some Blight. Nice. Um, isn't anything we really need to remove at this point, so let's just go for another heal. Set up our parry on this guy. His stun chance isn't super high, but I still think having the parry set up's nice. Tidal Slam coming in. We're hoping for the accuracy to, to really sort us out here. Obviously, that's problematic. That's way more problematic. Just noticing that we haven't done any damage to this guy thus far. This is bad. This is pretty bad. Um, I think we move you back like that and we just move Oracle forward as and when we can here. Oh, that's a huge hit for us. Great. This is still really bad though. We do not have AoE bleed cure. And the pinches keep coming in. When they're crits, 10 over 5. Insane. Oh, no. That is a hell of a lot of bleed. Okay, that's one dead. Please don't have him go before um, our healer. Okay, that's bad. Anyways, we can get rid of this now. And I think we just move you there for now. Oh God, this was bad, but we should be okay from now on. You definitely need the healing more than anyone else right now. God damn, they love going for Nick, don't they? They love going for Nick, but at least he's got a lot of restoration on his uh, on his self here. Um, we go for a heal here. We need it. Oh my God, this has been pretty brutal. Clear that. Go for a hit on there. No crit, unfortunately, but it does lower that accuracy nicely. No dodge. Wow. I I mean, I am glad that they're going for Nick because he does have that ability to get the restoration. But it's still annoying. That was a good hit to start out this fight. This has definitely been the hardest part of this so far. I think we have to go for another clear on you. And there you go. Okay. We're, we're, start, we're starting to clear the board a little bit here. Starting to clear the board a little bit. One good crit could really fix us here. Another pinch coming in. We resisted the bleed that time, though. That's great to see. And the engulf coming in, which is going to buff... Uh, sorry. Get a block on that guy. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's not as bad as it would first seem. Not as bad as it would first seem, because we can do this. Get a puncher going on there. Very important. And there you go. One more big hit is going to take this guy down. Oh my god, this has been very stressful for our first battle into this episode, but hey, we do have some uh, diaries to go over, but I think I'm going to leave until the end of this expedition, whether that be this episode or the next, because it just feels more fitting to do it at the end of this long battle. It might have been a three-parter, I'm not sure. Okay, this means that we should be able to finish with Oracle, which gives us that chance. Oracle, sorry, ahead, but 31%, great.
Full heal on you, good. Such a terrible assault. Ow. Left unanswered. A big sting for us there, but healed up again. And a big hit there with a lowered accuracy, good. I think this is the last enemy of this part. We're getting good hits. Even if this is a bit scary. Jabs are coming in hot and fast, but we're dodging a lot of them. Wasn't the last enemy. Thought it would be. This This must be the last one. Yeah, slow that accuracy across the board again. I think we clear that off of you. And we keep good. Battle Ballad is just too important to not use every turn. We get so many bonuses from it. Uh, your stun, 90 and... 110. Let's not bother them this time. Let's just go for the attack. Wow. Great hit there. Great hit there, Herbert. That that worked out just fantastically for us. Rent's coming in for some bleed. Lots of, lots of bleed and blight here, but that's mostly okay. We should be alright. You're dead on the next turn. Another engulf coming in for you, but it's okay because you'll be dead. Um... I'm going to do this to get the finishing blow. I know that we should leave Oracle, but I just want that guy dead. I just want him gone. This guy should go down relatively quickly now. Nice. Especially when we're getting crits like that from here, but wonderful. Howl coming in for the stress. Only two takers. We resisted the disease nicely. Seeds of Madness are in, but that's again okay, because we can do a throw here, which should help out going for a throw. Yeah, give us a crit. Give us a crit. Ah, oh, not quite. Here we go. Impale. Ah, oh, it didn't kill one of them. That's pretty bad for us, actually. Pretty bad for us. Oh, no. We should be okay now. We should be okay. Slowly. Yeah, good. Gently. This is how a life oh, is my taken. goodness. All right. And then this is like the, the team heal, isn't it? So we just touch that. Begging for examination. Yeah. Team heal there. Right. Good to go. Carry on. Push forward. That was rather stressful. Reality Back to making. these guys again. In a way, these are a little easier. In a way, they're a little harder. We're definitely probably okay to just let virtues happen now. See if they roll out. Wow. That was incredible. We hit the, the accuracy down on every single enemy and got a hit of that caliber. That's, that's just insane. Get a kill there. Wow, that, that was very impressive there. Thank you, Angus. Roots. Good dodge. Another good dodge here. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was coming. The accuracy down is just insane. So good. Seeds of Madness coming in. That's all right. We can deal with it. I think we go on you first. Annihilated. Okay. Even though I'd rather do it on otherwise, we're going to have to kill that. I'd rather just get a kill and increase our virtue chance, but that's better for now. And we keep pushing forward. This guy's not too bad. These guys are putting a lot of stress on us, but like I said, at this point, the stress shouldn't matter. There's a chance it does. There's a chance we get screwed over, but I'm going to play into the fact that I'm hoping it doesn't matter right now. We'll go for those nice, meaty virtues. So now we definitely set up parry, even though we could guarantee a kill yet again. I think it's better to just set this up. We get that going, kills two. Sets up the accuracy down on both those guys. Really good opening. And we just let the stress flood in at this point, I think. We really don't want two to hit, uh, hit a stress check at the same time in case one of them doesn't make it. And get the virtue. Certainly possible. Pop another one of those. Even though we don't need the healing. You definitely go for that. A little bit of a wasted potential on that crit, but we, I want to get the guaranteed kill here with uh, Oracle for the extra chance. The Virtues. And we pretty much guarantee it on that kill there. This guy's going to de-stealth next turn. 
like a few more. The, this guy can be very, very difficult the foreman. Stare the rabble. Gonna create some interesting uh, dynamics for us, but we're, good, we're, we're completely good for it. And we've actually got um, Anguist into the perfect position to set up and lower this guy's accuracy. Honestly, these crits are so important for us right now. They're setting up perfectly for Oracle into his kill, but they're also just meaning that everything's got lowered accuracy basically all of the time. Oh, no kill that time. That's unfortunate. Nice dodge. It's just it's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful dance that these two have organized. It's pleasant. And while uh, while Nick plays his ballads from the background, it's uh, a very fitting tune to their fine dance. A very fitting tune indeed. The tunes of war. That is a beautiful hit. Beautiful hit right there indeed. We can finish you off with Oracle, probably. I keep calling you Oracle. I'm sorry, Oracle. <laughs> Herbert. There you go. And that sets us to 34%. Overall. I don't know how Anguist has, like, no stress at all. I think it's just because he's getting so many crits. <laughs> just an absurd amount of crits at the minute. Uh, I don't know what that one does. Let's go and check. Um, Farmstead, Darkest Dungeon. It's like a dresser. Have a little look-see. Where's the dresser? Uh, stockpile. Skeleton key opens hidden compartment for food. Any supplies and trinkets? Okay. Yeah, so we want to be using a key on it. Finding the stuff Ooh, is a hello. Test. First of all, 20 Alpha's food is an insane bonus to us, but also a Shadow's Tail. 10% maximum HP plus 1 speed plus 10 stress. Stealth on attacks if not in position 1 or 2. Very interesting. I'm very glad to have that. Thank you. Uh, everyone's set up and in position. We're good to go. We move into the... I think the Light Bends area is definitely the most dangerous. Um, this one wield ain't as bad, I don't think, but it's still not good. In on itself. These guys have high speed, so they're likely to go next and give us rabies, but we'll, we'll hopefully avoid. Oh, no, we got lucky. Yes. If we get an accuracy down on all of them, which we did, we're in a good spot. Very good spot indeed. In fact, ah, oh, really? Low end of the damage scale there, unfortunately. Was hoping for a kill right off the bat, but no such luck. No such luck. As long as we don't get rabies here, I'd like to keep my accuracy going. Although, if we did, it would just be a damage up because the uh, accuracy isn't a bit as big of a problem with the battle ballast. So that might not be as bad of a thing as we may think uh, if it happens to one of these two. Right. We're taking very minimal damage from these guys right now. I say that as we get crit, of course. Battle ballad coming in again. Getting the kills with Oracle here is going to be very important. Go for that. Um, let's just fully heal you. Shouldn't be too bad. When the next lot of enemies come in is when we're going to start seeing problems. Stress is obviously piling up now, but I think we're okay for stress. It's the crits that are doing it. Stress is certainly piling. Nice kill. A nice kill. Okay, very good. Nick looks like he'll be, he's going to be the first. These two enemies aren't too bad as a grouping. I can deal with these. Nice hit to start out. Nice accuracy reduction, even if we didn't hit the blight. These guys have good blight resist, though, so that's to be expected. Very happy with how this is going. Should have been clearing off this bleed, really. Uh, stun chance, 90. I don't think it's worth going for the um, parry here. I think we just want to get him killed. The targeting could lead to some high damage. But it's okay. The targeting on both, actually. That is slightly problematic. But at least it's our front two. The front two are who we'd want to be targeted, if anyone. Okay, unfortunately, low damage hit there, but we'll finish you off on the next turn. Yeah, let's just let's just get rid of that blight. Uh, sorry, bleed. 
Savage Maul. This is where it starts to hurt because he can move us with that, I believe. The Fungal Grab. There's the move that we resisted. I knew it was coming. Wasn't sure when. Dealing with stress quite nicely, considering we're not dealing with stress. <laughs> In fact, you can uh, you can do a stress reduction, actually. Okay, I don't think Oracle's going to be able to get the hit on that back guy. Oh, yeah, it's good. Monstrous size has no 37%. Unless There's that Savage Maul I was talking about. Seeds of Madness. I didn't realize we'd get a double Seeds of Madness here. That's not great. Got to admit, that's not great. Just do double heal across the board here. I'm going to go for the Seeds of Madness here. It acts as a little bit of healing, but also just keeps us safe. And same again, honestly. It keeps us more than safe. And we go for across the board healing here as well. And if reinforcements come in, then we're good to go. Maul didn't do anywhere near as bad that time. Okay, this is an enemy that I can uh, I can deal with, I think. I'm actually just going to go straight for the attack on this. He did resist the accuracy down, unfortunately, but that's okay. A momentary abatement. Okay. We'll get this deer down next, I think. Nice dodge. I can never remember quite how dangerous these things are. I know that they have that stun. I don't know if they have move. Move's the biggest problem for us. Oh my god, we've got him down so much stress and we're not even trying, really. Do you know what? Why even bother at this point? <laughs> Just keep stress relieving him. Just get Nick there. Get both of you with that. Beautiful. No accuracy down there, though, sadly. Another big hit on you. One HP remains. Of course it does. Of course, you have a single HP remaining. The big slime. I think this is the knockback attack. No? Okay. Maybe it's just a debuff then. I, th I, I swore these had knockback. I know that I have a mod that changes how exoplasms work, though, so that might be removed with that. Might be the case there. Nice hit on that. Get the kill there. 38% chance. That's great. Party-wide heal here. Needed that. Nice dodge, no stun for us. Seeds of Madness are coming in. Uh, I'm not sure what we want to do here. I think I'm going to go for this and try and, yeah, take down the Seeds of Madness so that we can focus purely on the kill there. And then, Oracle, you can take out that seed. And then the Bleed will take out that one. Okay, that worked out really well. One more wave. Of course, this guy can disable healing, so very important we get him done first. 20 damage off the bat's great. Sadly, no kill instantly on the dog. Set that up again. A stealth hag as well is kind of annoying, but shouldn't be too bad. Ruinous Hex. Minus 20 dodge, minus 10, 10 accuracy. Nice dodge. Embrace the darkness. That is good. We're getting Nick closer and closer to being over the edge. He kind of needs to be pushed. Getting a lot of restoration out of this. Very, very nice. And I think now we go for this. Oh, back two dodged, unfortunately, but these front two got hit. That was unfortunate because we need to get this guy dead. But it does mean we get an extra uh, percent of virtue chance. Like I said, once we're at 40%, we're pretty much good to go. I'm a little worried about this guy when he disables healing. But I do believe that the last light healing bypasses that because it's not direct healing. It's healing off of a non-healing skill. So we should be okay for health. The Hex coming back in again. Does hurt a bit. Does hurt a bit. Okay, that's rather annoying. We're getting wailed on a little bit here, I'll admit it. This is a, a very tough grouping of enemies, but it's the last lot, so... Nice hit there. Beautiful. I think we keep healing rather than removing our ailments, to be honest. I think that's more important. And here's the magic 40. Everyone's stress is getting relatively high as well, so this works. Now, I wonder, should I farm this uh, this hag for more stress? Probably not, right? Probably not. 
Especially with the Blight bringing in. Okay, it doesn't matter. We can't anyways. Okay, definitely remove this Blight here. The rest can kind of stay because we don't really care. And then this, isn't this camp? I'm pretty sure this is camp. Again, I'll check just to make sure. A fireplace um, containing, it's just camp, yeah. Okay. Circle in the dark. Go for that. The battle may yet be won. Probably should have just left the stress on there. Um, and then in terms of camping skills, we want to go for armor piercing for everyone. The jolly cooperation. Um, unfortunately, we don't really care about any of this. Plus 15 virtue chance. One companion can't be marked. I'm going to go with you because you keep getting marked. Otherwise, we're good. Okay, I don't know if this is the boss. I'm not sure. But we are we're going for it. It seems to be. Solid ground once more. The seeds of despair. I have no idea what to expect with this boss, by the way. Absolutely no idea. We're just going to be playing into this and hoping for the best. Well, that's broke all of them to start. Don't know what they, they these things do. But they're growing, which makes me think that they need to die. Okay. Intriguing. I really don't know what this means for us. I don't know if we want to focus on him or the, the ever-growing things. The different colours as well is intriguing. Keep the ballad going. Keep the ballad alive. Kill that one, see what happens. Okay, it does seem like we want to be killing them. I'm guessing the uh, grow again. Yeah, I'm guessing their health is scaling with that as well, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Thesis expansion. I'm guessing they either explode or spawn an enemy. That would be my bets. Be File focusing. So the one thing I don't get is when do we attack the boss? <laughs> when do we attack the boss is the question. What happens when he grows this one more time? I'm expecting a massive explosion that does a lot of damage. But I really don't know what to tell you. Maybe they're just there as a defense mechanism? Okay, it's attacking. It explodes. That's exactly what happens and it explodes for a lot of light damage. And I'm assuming each one of these colors does different things. So it's not imperative that we destroy them because it is looking like um, the the damage they put out is not incredibly high. But I imagine if they keep stacking, then it will get high. I reckon we use this guy here to take them out and then um, Anubis to uh, pierce and attack the actual boss. Because he doesn't have a lot of HP, but he does have three attacks per round. And we can heal through the amount of blight that we've received here. It just depends what happens when uh, when they stack on top of each other. I'm thinking this thing will get its turn now. Yeah, it will. Let's find out. The Eternal Blossom. And this will be a, a different stat effect. Horror. Okay, yeah. It is color orientated. That's okay. Horror's not, not too bad for us, actually. We can deal with horror. Don't know what the white one is. We've not seen that yet. That's going for another Vow Focus. I think we go for this again, honestly. Just get uh, everything a little bit weakened, including the boss itself. We, ha we have uh, reduced healing by a lot. I don't know which one of them is doing that, but it's very bad. Check out you. Just because I don't really care about the stress dealing ones, to be honest. The stress dealing ones aren't too bad.
Go for the boss itself now. Okay, we've lost that debuff to some of the healing received on some characters at least. Okay, whenever they grow, they reset their health. That's very annoying to note. I didn't notice that prior. I can't tell if this is the actual boss or a mini boss. It seems a little easy to be the final boss. Like, I don't want to say that too soon because I'm sure it's going to get much harder. And ooh, ah, the blue one's prop. The blue one is prop. Okay. He's get, well, guard, should I say. But we can break that guard in a moment. Take care of you. Honestly, I think I think even though the method of which we're attacking him at the minute is very slow, we, we keep this up. It's working well. So we want to go with puncture. And get that on you to stop you being guarded. Good stuff. And actually, we want to keep this crystal alive now. Because it's not doing anything else otherwise. Okay, red. I assume red is straight up damage. If I had to guess, I'd assume red is straight up damage. That's a stun. Not good. More stress incoming. Like I said, we don't actually care about the stress, I don't think. This is a cool fight, though. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this as hard as it is. I think we go for this guy and try and take this guy out on this round. Okay, he just gets protection every round, so that doesn't really matter. Decimated. Yeah, I don't know what that one did, so I don't want to keep it around. Now we've got Nick back there. Get that healing out there. I don't know where where we're getting this minus healing from. It's something that he's doing, obviously, like one of the one of these little dudes, but I'm not sure which one. Okay, there's his check, but we should get a, a virtue here. Of course we fucking didn't, doesn't matter. Those who covered injury find it in no short supply. Honestly, I just... Why do I even try? Honestly. Why do I even try to do these cool builds? I just... What's the point? <laughs> You've got like a 99% chance to virtue, you absolute annoying fucking jester. You think you're funny? How on earth did that not work? Okay, now what's happening? What the hell's this? <laughs> now this looks more like a final boss. I think I think him him not uh, thinking has fucked it, you know. Him not uh, not going. What's it called? I think it's honestly fucked it. I really don't know what to think now, because I don't know what this guy does. If he does stress, we're we're, we're, just, we're just screwed. <sighs> That's so annoying. How did that happen? The sleeper stairs. What the hell? That was a lot of damage and a lot of horror. Get rid of that. I can't believe you, Nick. Why did you have to do this to us? This thing has so much health, too. If it's doing attacks like that all the time, we're fucked. Finally. Vigorous. Good. <laughs> I can't believe Nick. Why? Why now? Why in this fight? Everyone else hurt better virtue, otherwise I'm going to be sad. At least the healing's back to full now. Sleeper Awakens. That is insane damage. I think we're going to die. Vigorous. Adversity can foster hope and resilience. I really think we've got a death incoming or a heart attack or something here. This is just so much damage to be trying to outweigh. Seems like too much. Oh, that's good though. That's good though. He's near to half. There you go, courageous. Only one of you bastards ended up doing that, but hey ho, we can't get rid of the stress now though, it's too too late. But at least these guys finally uh decided to utilize what we'd given them. Another good crit there. I'm I'm worried for Nick. I think Nick's so close to death. 
like stress wise and everything else wise. Okay. Need higher damage than 15, dude, please. At least he's getting this uh, extra restoration. Helping out a lot. Oh, that's good. 21. Good, good, good. Oh, my God. I'd rather have the sleeper stairs than anything else at the minute. I uh, honestly would. It's just this I'm worried about. 13. It seems like we're doing less and less damage to him with each hit. Maybe he's gaining prop. Yeah, he is. I'm pretty sure he is. I know that we need to do stress relief really, but I'm I don't I just can't. I've just gotta hope we kill him before uh, Nick has a heart attack, I really do. <laughs> Another crit, awesome. Nick managed to dodge. Oh no he didn't. Damn it. We need to clean that off you now. We we have to. It's too much, you're gonna die to heart attack if we don't. I might regret come to regret that decision, but Crit, please. Okay, 19's good. 19's good. Go for that party heal. No crits, unfortunately. Everyone's health's looking okay. Crit for 21. Yes, 1 HP left. 1 HP left. Sleeper Awakens, that's going to hurt. We should be okay. That's slightly annoying there. And there you go, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. My gosh. What's going on here exactly? Please don't make us attack anyone else. Oh god. One HP. Are we done? We are done. Battle we got. Behind. I strangers and in couple of scar on the psyche. Peace. Okay. We just want to leave now, don't we? Withdraw with an impressive bounty. Yes, we want to do that. That is how this works, isn't it? I, I'm always so worried. If I go onwards, it just keeps us going. I'm pretty sure we withdraw with an impressive bounty. Yes. Holy hell. That was, that was insane. That was insane. I can't believe Nick. That was like 99%. How do you do this to me, Nick? You scared me so bad. You had me on the edge of my seat. Oh, there you go. Holy hell. Let me share there with you, you go. the terrible wonders I have come to know. Oh my God. Let's get people in. Everyone gets stressed healed. Who have we got to bring on board? Unfortunately, no one. Just level fours at the minute. No one new either. Right. Holy hell. That has been... That has been very, very stressful. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me quickly see if I can grab one of our diary entries to maybe go through before we, uh, before we end off here. We have one from... We have a few, and I'll probably go through some of them in the future episodes. But one that I definitely want to go through to start with, which is specifically due to this quest, was one from Sophia. Um, so I want to quickly go through that and then we'll come to the, the others in the next episode. So from Sophia here. And so the comet begins to call again. It swept across the land like a wave, washing in all its malice. In the sparing grounds, Ariki felt the pull of her soul. Townsfolk saw Prisoner 10 lumbering through the streets towards the farmstead before coming to a stop at the outskirts of the hamlet, where Fragment waited silently. Even those less attuned to the comet could hear it ringing into their soul. The heroes gathered in the town hall, though some were absent for some reason or another. Many spent... Uh, many hours were spent deliberating on the team to send, and at the end of the day, it was decided that Petra, Herbert, Anguis, and Nick were to go out into the farmstead. Each was prepared for combat within the remaining days. With the heroes set out, Severus took to managing his side of the battle, weakening the eldritch beings from beyond mortal eyes. His body hung in the sky above the hamlet, aglow with power. All around him, thousands of sparkling gems floated around him. 
Each one of them as fine as a grain of sand, and as the heroes left, he shrouded each in turn with spectacular shimmering mist that was visible to only the most enlightened of the people in the hamlet. That's amazing. I absolutely love that you tied in basically every character that had some tie to the um, to the farmstead there. But there you go. We beat the farmstead. We beat the next boss very, very narrowly. I had no idea what to expect coming into that boss fight. I just am glad we had a lot of sustain. Very happy that the team we sent out was, was well prepared. Thank you for that, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.